Happy Friday, my beautiful Thrivers. Oh, welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. If you're new here, you just clicked on one of my Cash Stuffing Friday videos in which I cash stuff our paycheck for the next two weeks. We get paid twice a month and we are doing this cash stuffing envelope system to help us keep on track with our finances and to build healthy savings. If you guys are interested, feel free to continue watching and consider clicking that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a part of my family. It's growing day by day and I'm very excited to see where it's going. To all my current subscribers, hi. How you doing, baby? I missed you guys. I hope that you are having a blessed week and that you are also making your money moves and getting motivated and inspired to continue saving and doing what you do. But without further ado, let's get started. So today's cash stuffing is with our July 9th paycheck. Off camera, I budgeted out everything so that I could be prepared for this cash stuffing. I used to do this on video, but it's not as interesting as I thought it would be. But if you guys ever want to see it, just let me know. I can always bring that back. But I'm going to go over this really quick with you guys and then we'll get to the nitty gritty and start stuffing these envelopes. Our paycheck was significantly larger. I knew we were going to get a bonus but I didn't know how much so I very much under budgeted and this is what we brought home. The side hustle stayed the same and that is the total amount that we brought home in income. I have to tell you that I have made a decision to dismantle my JIC binder. I'm going to reallocate the $317 I had in there into some of my higher priority sinking funds. And the reason being is I'm just not doing it as much as I thought I would. So I think I'm going to try another method in trying to save up for that one month ahead goal. And the binder just wasn't working for me. So I dismantled it and the money that we had in there we're going to reallocate into some of my other higher priority sinking funds. So that brought our total to 3,900. For our fixed expenses, these are all the same, nothing changed, and we did add in $20 for my gas because I am getting pretty low, so I just want to be prepared for that. And that total came to 1350. And then all the bills that are due are here. Some were slightly lower, but they were all pretty much in that fixed rate. So not much change. There was a slight difference. So we did have a little bit more to play with. So that leaves from our full-time paycheck, $422, $360 from our side hustle, and the $317 from our JIC binder. So in total, we will be stuffing $2,449. That is the fixed expenses, the sinking funds from the full-time paycheck, the JIC that we are reallocating, and the $360 for the side hustle. And that gives us this full total. And behind that is my lovely, beautiful, cheat sheet so that I know what to stuff in each. So this will be put off to the side. You won't actually see this. So the first thing we need to do is get our money. I went ahead and I put it all together in this Ipsy bag. I'm just repurposing the Ipsy bag to transport all this money. I do have it separated so that we'll know what is from what. But there it is. As you can see, it's a pretty nice stack of money. On the top here, I do have my prop money. This is what I use for my groceries and Sam's runs so that I can keep all the money online, but it is still being stuffed into my envelopes. So in order to help me keep track of what I have in my account specifically for groceries, I use prop money to show that. So this is for groceries and Sam's. This was from the full-time paycheck. This is the side hustle for 360. And the 
this is the money that I took out of the just in case binder. So adding all of this together gets $2,449. So give me one second and I'll set this up in my cash tray. So now that we have all set up, I'm going to start with our wallets. Mine is right here. I did get this on Amazon. It came with all of these and some budget sheets that I don't really use, but it came with all of these. So these are my cash envelopes. I'll pull these out. And then my husband has his own. This is not his regular cash envelopes. He likes to split up his money sometimes. So he just has these extra envelopes. He has his current envelopes for gas and for spending money. So I just, always end up using these just because I don't have anything else to put it in because he doesn't give me his envelopes. So these are our in wallet cash envelopes that we will be stuffing but first I need to unstuff mine. For spending I still have quite a bit of money left over. I have 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. So what I will be doing is these ones I'm going to put off to the side. And I'm going to just roll this over into my next two weeks worth of spending. Sometimes I like to put it in rollover but for this time I'm just gonna hold on to it and we'll see what happens for gas we're empty kids we still have the ten dollars here I'm gonna pull this out the allowances is empty of course and the miscellaneous has a 20 still in here so I'll pull these two out, that's $30, and I will show you what I do with these later in the video. So I'll just put these aside with the ones. So now that we are all emptied up, we can go ahead and get stuffing. I like to start with my husband's envelopes, so I'll use this one for his gas. So we'll start with his gas money. He's going to get... $220 in gas, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 220. So 220 for the next two weeks of gas. He travels a lot for his job, so he uses a lot of gas money. For his spending, he's getting 150, and he always likes that in the highest amount of bills. So he's getting 150. And he is all stuffed up. For me, spending, I'm getting 150, but I like to break mine up a little bit more. So I get two 50s, two 20s, and two 5s. It should be 50, 100, 20, 40, 45, 50, 150. And I'll just add that to what I have in here already. So now I have 50, 100, 20, 30, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. To, uh, 195 for gas I'm going to get 20 this time and I believe I'm just doing this in 20 yeah. for kids this is just for just random spending. Obviously we haven't been doing a lot of spending, but I like to be prepared just in case we actually do. So I'm gonna stick a 10 in there. Allowances. My son gets two tens. My daughters get four fives for the next two weeks. I 
actually, I think I did something wrong. Hold on. Yeah, am I spending money? I'm not supposed to get two fives, actually. I'm supposed to get a ten, because I changed it up on myself. Sorry about that. Just when you think you're getting better at this, if you still make mistakes. But I changed up the denomination, so I guess that's okay. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So a total of $60 in their allowances. 30 of that will be going tonight, and the other 30 is for next week. And miscellaneous will be getting a 20. So it'll be going right in here. And that's just for any miscellaneous overages that we might need. So that'll do it for my wallet and my husband's wallet. I'll just stick these back in here. I have some coins, but not a lot. So I think I'm good for this week. Now onto my blue binder. This is my revolving binder. And these are envelopes that um, we spend regularly. I'll try it this way. We spend this regularly, so it's money coming in, money coming out. I don't usually do like a tracker with these, which is fine. Um, but the for groceries and for my stands, we are going to be using prop money because that money is online. So for groceries, it's getting $375. For the next two weeks. Sorry. Okay. So that's 100, 200, 300, 50, 70, 75. So 375 for the next two weeks of groceries from Publix. Oh, we did have a $1 left in there, so I'll just leave it in there. And then for sands, I do have this divider because this thing is just, it's taking forever to dry, so I don't want it to mess up the other one while it does. So for sands, it's getting also the same, $3.75. And of course, this money is interchangeable, so if I spend more at Publix than I do at sands, it's fine. So $3.75 in prop money. For sands. For my pets, and of course, if you see all these envelopes and you're thinking they're so cute and you want to see how they're done, I have a whole series on my channel showing how I do these. So go feel free to watch. I try to make it as entertaining as possible, but just showing you how to make these without vinyl, without Cricut machine, just simple Sharpie markers and some rhinestones. So for my pets today, we're going to give it a full $100, and it's just going to be straight $100 bill. It currently has $25 in it, so we're just going to add $100 to it, and now it has $125. And for my eating out, we're getting... $50 and that's because there's a 50 left over in here so I'm just gonna add 50 to it to make it a full $100 which is what we usually spend for our one time of eating out per paycheck extra toiletries is only gonna get $5 this time we're pretty caught up on everything that we have so we're not gonna need to really stuff this for now. For Peach Pass, I need to put in $30 here. So I'm going to do that in all tins. And there's a tin in here, so that'll bring the total in here for $40. Miscellaneous will be getting $5. There's currently five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars in there. Add us a five, so now it's five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
And this is just for miscellaneous things. If I ever go over in one of these revolving things, I've got a little backup. To the bank is what I use to put my money that I've already spent back in there. Um, rollover currently only has $10. We're just going to leave it at that. Challenges. Let's talk about this. This is only going to get thicker and thicker because this is what I am putting my $1 savings in. So anytime I have $1 left in my wallet, like I do now, I want to add it to it and just let it build. So any singles, they're just going to go in there. But this is getting really full already and I don't want to condense this in any way because it's a $1 challenge. So what I've decided to do is we're going to take this envelope out. And I'll just repurpose this for some other use. And I had bought some stuff to help me with my vacation binder because I'm trying to budget for our vacation. And this came with it. And it's this cute little bag. I don't even know. Like... It's cute, it's just like, I don't know. And it's big, so I'm thinking it's like an A5 size, maybe, I don't know. But it's big enough to hold lots of ones. So that's what I'm gonna start doing, is putting it in here. Let's just go ahead and give this a count, see what we have so far. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So that's $30 in ones that we have managed to accumulate over the past, I don't know how long we've been doing this, like three weeks, four weeks, maybe longer, I don't know. So I figure I'll just keep them in here and keep them off somewhere safe. So that'll do it for this binder. We are all stuffed up and ready for the next two weeks. And now we move on to my short-term binder. And this is our, it's still kind of revolving funds, but not as frequent as the other binder is. So for beauty today, it will be getting $25. Currently it has zero, and this is not my handwriting. My husband, kudos to him for keeping the tracker going. So it needs $25. We're just gonna do that in a 20 and a five, I believe. Yes, a 20 and a five. These are primarily for haircuts for my boys. All right, moving on, we have house maintenance. It is currently empty and house maintenance will be getting $5. If you watched my last video, the WTF Wednesday, you know I depleted this, so I just wanted to put that back in there. For gifts, we currently have five in it and we are not going to stuff anything in there. For clothing, we're going to put five in there. It currently has zero. So we will just put us a nice little five in there and start building it back up. For family fun, we're not gonna stuff it this time. It currently has 20. For car maintenance, we don't stuff it with our full-time paycheck, so that's gonna stay the same. For Amazon, not gonna stuff it. And I'm seriously considering getting this envelope out of here, so I don't know. Date night is going to get stuffed and it's going to be stuffed with a lot because we do have a date night planned coming up in August and I want to make sure that I have enough money to enjoy our date night. So currently it has 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23 and I am putting $77 in it. So it'll be a 50, a 20, um, a 5, and two ones. 50, 70, 75, 76, 77. So now date night has a total of 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. 100.
and YouTube give giveaway will not be getting stuffed, but I do have plans to start creating a new YouTube giveaway as my subscribers grow. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And that'll do it for my short-term binder. And now we move on to my long-term binder. These are for longer-term things, things that happen maybe once a year, maybe less like vacation. Vacation will be getting stuff today with $100. We are getting closer and closer to our vacation date and I really want to meet my goal which is $3,300. Yep, $3,300. So currently it has $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 in the bank. $50, $51, $52, $53, 54 so we're going to add $100 to it. So we'll just add a $100 bill. So now it has 3,000, 100, 150, 151, 152, 153, 154. For holidays, it's not gonna get stuffed this time. For Christmas, it will be getting stuffed. We're going to stuff it with $50. And it currently has $1,000 in the bank, $100, and we're going to add $50 to it. So now it has 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 450, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. So 1,479. Hubby will not be getting stuffed and neither will wifey. These are primarily for our birthdays and Mother's Day and Father's Day. School will be getting stuffed as school is getting closer and closer to beginning again. We have $12 in there. We are going to add $40 and that will be in 20s. So now school has 20, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52. So 52 in school, definitely going to need a little bit more in that. Electronics is not going to get stuffed this time. Renovations is not going to get stuffed. And driver's ed will be getting stuffed. It will be getting $30. Now that we're getting closer to school, I need to bulk this up so that they can take their online driver's ed courses. So that's $30, and I'm doing that in a 20 and a 10. So now driver's ed has 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. Projects will not be getting stuff this time, so that'll do it for this binder. And now we move on to my kid's binder. For my kids binder, this is all of their um, savings for specific purposes. So not their just regular savings, but things that have a purpose to it. So none of my kids' birthdays are going to get stuffed. My son and my daughter both have 250. My youngest daughter, whose birthday is this upcoming month, has 380. I'll be stuffing that a little bit more a little bit later grad party which we have a grad party coming very very soon just in a matter of a few weeks i'm gonna go ahead and stuff this pretty good we are going to put 115 dollars in we have 110 20 25 30 35 currently and we're going to be adding 100 a 10 and then these are in ones. So one, two, three, four, five. 
ones make it a lot easier to make change when I need to make change. <laughs> so currently Grad Party has 100, 200, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So yes, 250. For my son's graduation gift, this is for their gifts. They're getting $30 each today. So currently he has 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 50. And we're going to be adding $30, which is a 20 and a 10. And now my son's graduation gift has 100, 200, 300, 400. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 280, 480, oh my gosh, what's wrong with me today? Struggle bus, guys, we are on the struggle bus, <laughs> that's awesome. For my daughter's graduation, she starts at 285, yes, a little bit lower, but he graduated already, so I really need to bulk that up as soon as possible, so we're going to be adding 30 to it today. A graduation currently has 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 300, 310, 315. For my youngest daughter, it'll be the same. She has 285 and we are putting $30 into it. Now she has 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 300, 310, 315. J Car currently has $260. We're going to add 35 to it today. So I need 20, 30. Now J Carr has 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, almost $300. A Carr will be getting 35 today as well. So 20, 35, she currently has 260. So a car currently has 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95. So almost $300 as well. K car currently has 260. And we will be adding 35 to it as well. So now K-Car has 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95. And that'll do it for my kids binder, which is obviously getting stuffed again. But now we move on to my savings binder. For my savings binder, this is all of our important just just saving to save, saving, saving to save saving. <laughs> Just ignore me, please. <laughs> so for my and my husband's savings, we're going to put $55 in. This time I went ahead and did some higher denominations. So we're going to add 50 and a 5. So now my savings with my husband is 1, 2, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 460, 465, 466, 467. Retirement will be getting $37. So we're doing 25 and then two ones. So 
Now retirement has 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 300, 305, 36, 37, 38, 39, 310, 311. That's good. So emergency is going to be getting 35. Which now has 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. Medical will just be getting five, and I did that in five ones. So one, two, three, four, five. So now medical has 45. All right, so vet bill. This is where I would like to put this $30 that I had left over. We are going to put the 30 in here. So now that bill has 20, 40, 50, 60. All right, so for my son's savings, Jay Savings will be getting 35 today. He currently has 265. And then we are going to add 35. And then it's going to have to be in five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So now J Savings has 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 300. We just hit the 300 mark. A savings will also be getting 35. Oh no. Oh no. I messed up somewhere. That's going to be a lot of ones and my youngest daughter's. So I feel bad for her. 100, 200, 20, 40, 60. 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. 300. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to do so many ones. So for K savings, she's likely going to get all of the rest of these. Yeah, because I don't put anything in anniversary this time. So 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Well, this is what cash condensing videos are for. <laughs> oh my. This is going to be so thick. Okay. So for my youngest daughter's savings, she currently has 100, 220, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. 300. So that will complete this cash stuffing. We are all out of money and everything is where it goes and we are nice and thick. I think once my savings envelopes and stuff reach the $500 mark, I may pull those out and replace it with a $500 placeholder just to save some more space in there because as you can see, my kids and my savings binders they get full quickly and it gets a little hard to close but I mean I could separate them out and make them into different binders I don't know I really don't know what I want to do it's either I'm going to replace them with $500 increments which I am leaning towards or I can now repurpose my just-in-case binder and separate them somehow I'm just not really sure if you have any suggestions let me know but I'm more than likely probably going to do the 500 increment thing. But anyway, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again for joining me for another cash stuffing. I hope it wasn't too long. And if you're still watching and you're new here and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a blessed weekend. I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be decorating one of my cash envelopes, maybe two, who knows? We'll see. I hope you guys join me with that and I will see you then. Until next time, bye.